Okay, so I am changing out my nails and I've had some people wanting me to do like a live demo um, to show y'all how I do it. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that. Okay, so if you hadn't used these before, basically this is what you get, a little packet. It has two strips in it. Well, I'll show you when I open it. Let me just open it and show y'all. I'm gonna do a mixed mani. Okay, so this color is Manchester Mauve. And when you get your pack, you get a set of strips. So let me show y'all that. And I cut mine open with scissors. They have little tabs here, but I cut it open so that I can reseal it with a hair straightener and save them for another time. You get, all right, you get two sets of eight and they're double-sided. Basically, you get 16 double-sided strips I use one strip for two nails. You can get a lot of use out of them. Um, I can do my nails like three or four times with one set. Okay, you also get a little nail file um, to file off the edges. And then you get an alcohol wipe to prep your nails so that there's no like oil or anything on your nails so that it really sticks good to your nails. Okay, so that's what comes in your little set. Now, before I do mine, like after I remove my old ones, and it comes off with fingernail polish remover, but after I remove my old ones, I just, um, I like file them and shape them and everything. Then, before I'm ready to do it, I will wash my hands with dish soap, which I know is bad. It gets all the oils out of my skin. My hands are already super dry, but I do it just to make sure that my nails are really dry. Um, so that's a little trick that I do, just to make sure they stick really good. So now I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna take my little prep pad and let me show y'all what I'm doing on my nails today. I have four different ones. So I'm doing Manchester Mauve with this pretty gray called Berlin at the Win It in Capitol Hill, which is like a gray with pink glitter. And then I'm going to throw some of this tiny and shiny little sparkle. I might like throw some sparkle accent on one of these solids too. So I just, I think it's pretty. Okay, so um, I just take my little prep pad and go over all my nails. You really want to not skip this step because you want to make sure that your nails are really dry. No grease or oils or anything on them. Lotion or anything like that so that it adheres really good. <clears throat> and y'all, I sliced my, I don't know if y'all can see but I sliced my finger open last night trying to cut some bread and I have like a huge gash. So I didn't know whether or not I should do this video with this like this, but I was ready to change my nails. So I just, I'm like, I'll just do it, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so after I clean my nails, go ahead and open this file. So we got to decide which nails we want to put on which fingers. I think I want to do this one on my middle finger. So I'll start with that. I kind of jump around when I do it because I don't ever have a clear plan. I kind of just am like eyeballing everything and seeing what I think looks good where. Of course you'll measure. You'll hold it up and see like which strip fits. So I think, okay, so I'm gonna go with this one. So there's a top layer here. So you pull the top clear piece off. Then we've got a bottom layer. There's like a little, um, you can't see it, but there's a little gray strip here. So we pull that off. Okay, now this is what I do. It's called the anchor trick or the anchor, I think anchor trick. But I put my strip back on this way. Do y'all see that? And now I can hold it right here without touching the sticky underneath. So I do it like that. And that way I can line it up on my nail or whatever. I'm not doing my thumb. I'm doing my middle. But um, I can line it up without touching that sticky. So I really like doing it this way. So I'm going to line it up. You do not want it on your skin because that's going to cause it to lift. If it's not on your nail, your skin, you know, is going to have oils and stuff in it and it won't stick. It won't be stuck down on the edge if that makes any sense if it's not on your nail. So don't put it like over too far like make sure it's on your nail so if y'all can see i've got the edge right against my cuticle and then i'm gonna pull this little thing off here i just rub it down the middle on the side and i know this sounds kind of weird but like i pull my my i don't know for lack of a better word like meat <laughs> of my skin over yeah um when i'm pu pushing down the side so that it gets stuck to my nail and it doesn't get stuck to my skin okay so it's on my nail i don't want to like Mommy. look like i'm 
flipping y'all. Hi. Mommy's doing her nails. So once you get to this point, you can do it different ways. Um, some people just pull it off. Some people use their fingernail and kind of score it or use one of these or use the file. What I do before I do anything, I cut mine with scissors like this because I want to stick this other one on my other hand. So, and there's a little tab here. So you just pull that tab off. Okay, so now I'm gonna line this up with my other finger. And you could anchor it again, but usually I don't use the anchor the second time. Then push it down. All right, so now I've got them both like this. So now what I do is I fold down my edges. Make sure it's like folded down really good, both sides. Sometimes it just breaks, like this one just broke right here on my edge. So sometimes it just comes right off without filing it. Um, see, that one just came right off. But um, I'll take my little file. It's got a rough side and a not smooth side, but like it's got one side that's more fine and one side that's rougher. Um, I like to use the more fine side. If you use the rougher side, sometimes it makes the edge a little too rough. So, and I just go down. Make sure also that you're not angling it like this because then you're going to have your nail showing at the edge. You're going to be removing too much. Make sure it's pretty more angled this way than this way. Try to keep it straight, but got a train going in the background now. But that's it. Okay, so that one's on. And I hope y'all can see that one good. But just like that, super easy. I'm going to file off what's left on this one. There's not much. There's those two done. Okay. Easy as that. I think I'm gonna do a mauve on my first finger and my pinky. So let's do the pinky next. What? Your pinky? You wanna do the pinky? Uh huh? Oh. How long do yours normally stay on? Um, they stay on. I mean, mine last pretty much two weeks, if not more. They start growing out. They don't ever yeah. like. Oh, well, go get it. Yeah. Don't put the popcorn in your train. They definitely don't ever peel off on me. They don't really chip on me either. If you have a problem, some people have asked me if theirs have cracked or like the edges might start chipping. You want to get the clear ones. It's called clear as day. And that's going to add an extra layer basically to your nails and it will not chip or crack or anything. I mean, I don't have a problem with mine doing that, but if you do... That's something you could try. Yeah, two weeks, mine start growing out and like back here will start catching on my hair and stuff because it's so grown out. So then I'm like, I need to, I can't, I've got to change my nails out. But other than that, I mean, it could probably go longer. I just, I can't handle that when it starts growing out. Okay, so same thing with this one. And with the clear, let me say this, they come with double what a regular pack comes with. So instead of only getting two strip, two sets, it comes with four sets. So, okay, so here's the clear sheet we're peeling off. So again, if you missed the anchor trick, I, when I peel the bottom part off, I turn it sideways and stick it back on like that so that I'm not touching the sticky and it's easier to hold and line up. So I'm gonna do this one on my pinky. So you just line it up, make sure it's not on your skin. It's just on the edge, right where your cuticle starts. Now the solids are a little trickier for some people. They don't hide as much walls. So like the glitters, if you, you know, have a crease or something, if you didn't smooth it exactly right, it hides it. With the solids, you see everything, but I don't really have too bad of an issue smoothing them down. They stretch, they're kind of stretchy the, before they set, so. I mean, mine seem to do pretty good. No wrinkles or anything. I take my scissors, cut off the edge, and then hold it over. It's got a little, like, play time before it really sets. So if you do have a wrinkle, you can kind of pick it up and readjust it real quick. So let me grab this other one. Sometimes when I peel this tab, I have to do it gently because... I'll rip the things. That is one thing. They're so like buttery. You have to be kind of careful with them. So I don't normally anchor the second one, but I'll just do it this time to show y'all. Okay, line it up. Okay, we don't want it on the skin. Now this one looks a little big. Over here on the side, you see it's going kind of on my skin. I'll show y'all how I do that too, if it's not exactly the right size. My nails stay in water a lot. Would you suggest me to use them? Yeah, water does not affect, it's 100% um, nail polish. Um, a base coat, a color coat, and a top coat. So once it's, um, once you've had it on for like 30 minutes, it's perfectly set and you can use water. I wash my hands probably, I'd say at least, 
30 times a day, if not more. Cleaning up messes and stuff with the kids. Got my hands in soap and all kinds of stuff. And it's just like regular nail polish, but these last me longer on me than regular nail polish does. So I love them. Um, they last to me kind of like gel polish does, but they come off with fingernail polish remover. So that's why I like them. I don't have to sit here and soak my nails off. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this over. And then this edge here, I'll fix that in a second. First, I'm going to get the end off. And like I said, you can really just apply pressure and it'll break right there at the end. If you want to do it that way or you can file it, it's up to you. Okay, so you see I've got this edge here. So I usually just take my fingernail and I will go along that edge with my nail and kind of score it. If you don't have a nail to do it with, like if your nail's too short, um, again, this comes in handy like really well to do that with. I just kind of score it along where my skin is. And then usually I can just use my nail and it kind of just pulls right away. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing, but I just use my fingernail and it pulls right away, just like that. So easy, y'all, I love these things. So we've got those two done so far. Oh, no, I didn't, <laughs> just kidding. We gotta file this extra off. Make sure you're not filing like this cause then you'll be taking that edge off and it'll be, your nail will be showing on the edge. So that's a mistake I did like the first two times I did them. I was filing like this and I was filing too fast and um, taking the edge off. So just make sure when you file, if you use the file to do it, file straight down or even kind of slightly angled like this. And that edge just peels right off. Okay, so now I've got both of those done on both hands. So I think I wanna do the gray on this one. And then I'll put, maybe I'll put some glitter over top of it. So peel off the top layer, anchor the strip. Then I'm gonna line it up, not on the cuticle, but just barely at the edge. Press down straight and then one side, other side. And again, I like to try to like pull this finger meat. <laughs> that sounds weird, but pull it over when I smooth it down so that it sticks to my nail, doesn't get stuck to my skin at all. I made some chicken gnocchi soup last night and then I sliced my finger open. I got some fresh like ciabatta bread to bake in the oven to eat with it. And I sliced my finger trying to cut that bread cause the bread was kind of like crispy on the outside. And I had one of those big, huge like bread knives and I was like, <laughs> just right into my finger. There is that one. I've been craving some Olive Garden and we just, we don't live anywhere near Olive Garden. And I feel like when you get food to go, cause we're not going anywhere, it just doesn't taste the same. It's not hot. So let me just try to make it. I think the bread was my favorite part with butter. About to be dinner time again. I think tonight I'm making homemade pizza. Bought the pizza crust from Betty Crocker and I love, I love the mac and cheese pizza from CC's. Y'all might think I'm gross for liking that or liking CC's, but I don't care. I love it. I'm gonna try to make that pizza. So I got like the noodles and some Velveeta and some Alfredo sauce and some like shredded cheese and I'm gonna try to make it. And I got that Betty Crocker pizza crust to mix up. So I'm hoping it'll taste good. It might not taste like theirs, but hopefully it'll taste good. So I was gonna make that and then just a regular pizza, like pepperoni. Okay, on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tiny and shiny on top of this one. It's gray. Hopefully it looks good. And this is one that was already opened, but I had sealed it with a straightener. Yeah, I love, like that's my favorite, probably my favorite. Totino's used to be my favorite pizza. Um, Just a good old, old fashioned, Totino's pizza, the combination one. But for some reason they changed it to a square and it does not taste the same anymore. And every time I eat it, I get sick that night. I don't know why, but they did different. So I can't eat that anymore. That used to be my favorite pizza. Okay, so this one is a petite. Cup. So with petites, they're a teeny bit shorter, I think, than the regular ones. Maybe they are and I just, it's like a mind trick. Let me see. No, see they're a teeny bit shorter. Petites are a little shorter. If you have shorter nails, you can still use petites. Okay, so I need one that's gonna fit. Mama, I don't eat Cece's pizza. I know you don't. That mac and cheese pizza. So I'm gonna put this tiny and shiny over top of the gray. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, look how pretty y'all. I love that one. That is so cute. How cute, I am loving. <sighs> I am loving that over top of that. Oh, that's so cute. Glitter just like instantly makes me happy. 
I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm so excited over this glitter. Uh, oh, the Totinos. Yeah, they make me, I will wake up at like two in the morning after I eat one and I will be in the bathroom sick. They change something when they turn them square instead of a circle and they don't taste as good either. So you're done. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. So I think I'll do the mauve on my pointer finger. A lot of people save their thumbs last because you kind of use them as a tool. Like if you want to go around the edge or something with them. So that's just a little tip too. There's definitely, definitely a little bit of a learning curve with these. Just, I mean, as the more you try it, the better you'll get at it. I think my like maybe third or fourth time doing it, I was like, I had it down. Okay, so, oh my gosh, they're, they're so cute. Like it's coming together now. I just gotta file off the extra and my nails are done. With gel polish, you even have to wait on it to dry. Like not dry, but like you have to put it under the light, do it like different coats and all that. With this, no dry time. And they last just as long, if not longer to me than regular nail polish. Just like that, y'all, I'm done. How cute. So cute. So there you have it, y'all. How cute. I hope this was kind of a little bit helpful for some of y'all. See my little tricks. Um, so when you get done, last trick I'm gonna show y'all. So when you're done, you wanna save your strips. So what I do, sometimes if it's long, I'll break it in half. So I break it just to make it a little shorter. And then you stick it right back in the pack that it came in. So stick them all back down in here. Then you take your straightener and you just go up the edge like that and it reseals it. Can y'all see that? And it will keep these from hardening because once you put them on your nails and expose them to air, they harden so that they last a long time. So yeah, just like that, you seal it. Good to go for next time. When I open it, it'll be just as soft and buttery as the first time I used them. That's all my little tips I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching and message me if y'all have any questions. Bye, thank y'all for watching.